So this is our fourth bout of the evening between Richard Roberts Popham in the red corner, Jordan Granham from Islington, London in the blue corner. So Popham in the only second fight, first fight here it was in April. We had a win over Josh Cook, who obviously we've seen previously tonight. Jordan Granham is a veteran of over 120 fights. He's quite a bit of an ass for Popham. Yeah, it's definitely a big step up for Richard tonight. Jordan's been around for a while on the circuit. I mean, he's his fight here with Guy Kitchen last time. Every, everybody who's, who was here remembers that. It was a top quality. Yeah, there were some bombs thrown that night, wasn't there? Why? Right. Quite a capable fighter, Granham. Even though, you know, he is as class as a journeyman. He, he goes on the road. He is usually the opponent in the way corner, but he does give you value for money. He does test these young up and coming prospects. Too right, he does. Um, I was in Belfast for the um, Mick Conlon card the other week, the end of May, and um, Jordan got a slot on that, which was I was I was happy for him to get a big slot on a big card. Yeah, he's quite quite happy to travel, Jordan. seems to be uh, starting well though he's cutting the ring off reasonably well by Popham, nice straight shots. Granham just taking him on the glove. Good first round for Popham. I'm sure you'll agree, Dan. I think we give that first round to Popham. Better quality work. Yeah, definitely. I think the way he cut the ring off first half of the fight and then he started to let his hands go more in the second half.
You know, Gran is one of those fighters. We've, I've watched him, you know, plenty of times. Same, same as yourself, Dan. He's one of those kind of fighters that he's quite happy, you know, to work. He'll work with you. He'll take, you know, he'll go through the rounds with you. But if you put a bit of pressure on him, he'll come out fighting. He'll come out swinging. Which is that what happened obviously to Kitchen here, like we said before. Oh yeah, too right. Me and Richard spoke about that earlier on. Um, so he knows that Jordan's not going to come in and just walk around the ring with him. He'll meet him and in, like you said, Mike, if it needs to be punch for punch, then so be it. Obviously, that's exactly what's happening there. Pop, Popper landed a couple of shots and Granham came back with his own. Yeah, Jordan's starting to meet him more in the middle of the ring now. You know, what, what a lot of people don't realise, obviously, you know, Jordan being the, the away corner, the, the journeyman, so to speak, he's obviously having to travel to London for this one, you know, that's where he lives. He's quite happy to travel up north, he travels, so you've got to take that into account, you know, when he steps into the ring, he's already done his journey, making his way up here. And then, he's, you know, he's got, he's got to get in that ring and entertain the fans as well. Yeah, at the end of the day, Mike, that's all Jordan cares about, putting on a show. So like you said, he's already done his journey, comes up here now and it's just about putting on the show. Which, out of over 120 fights, he's certainly brought entertainment value over the years, as he has tonight. Yeah, I think I think Popham's there, uh, you know, edging the rounds because of his quality of boxing really and he's come forward. Aggression. Which is one of what we want to see, you know, again, for these prospects. We want to see him coming forward. A lot of the time they just hang back a little bit, especially when they've got like a good a good opponent in front of them as as Granham. They tend to get a little bit gun shy, but you know, Popham stuck to his task. Got a lovely jab. Yeah, especially at 2-0, they can be gun-shy, but uh, he's, he's not held back, has he? No, no, he's, you know, he's, he's focused, he's, he knows what he's got to do. And he's, he's, you know, he's quite aware of Janum's, sorry, Granham's uh, credibility, really, as an 120-yard fight veteran. Yeah, I like Richard's lead left hand, it seems to be navigating him around the ring well. Like there's a little bit of a mark under Poppin's right eye, a little bit of a mouse. Very competitive, Dan, though, so far. Yeah, it, it definitely is. When um, Richard tends to move him out, Jordan's happy to fire back with a few and meet him back in the middle of the ring. Very competitive.
nice little screw shot up a cut there from Granham. I think Gran Granham had a good third round there. I'm not sure if it's close enough, you know, or it did enough to win it, but he certainly stepped up the pace a little bit in that last round. Yeah, I think there's certainly an argument for him winning the round. Um, and the amount of times that I've seen Jordan box, I don't feel like I've ever seen him so light on his feet as tonight. Moving really well. Good work by a Poffin, but Granham just takes him on the gloves and the elbows. I think Jordan fancies this one actually looking at him tonight. He's quite lively in this last round. Uh -huh. I don't know um, if he's got trouble with his calf or his ankle. I don't know what the bandage is about on his um, right leg, but it certainly doesn't seem to be affecting him. Granham just getting through the jab, a nice long jab. Sees the cut. And that little lump is now opened up on Poppin's right eye. Which might kind of upset him a little bit or knock him off his stride. Nice right over the top by Poppin though, but Granham just smiled it off. Just heated up a little bit now in this last round. Granham's seen a little bit of blood now and he's just there, uh, spurred him on a little bit. Popham's still sticking to the game plan though, moving quite well. A lot of blood coming now from that court, just under Popham's left and right eye, sorry. Jordan sees an opportunity here, I don't know if there's enough time left. Still moving well though, Richard. So Jordan still Jordan Graham still putting the pressure on Popham. Popham comes back with his own 1-2. Nice old round left to finish. John even may have nicked a draw there. If I was the judge, I, I, I'd give it first two rounds to Richard, second two to Jordan. It's just a shame it wasn't for longer that fight.
boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe, VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.